Hey guys, welcome to my couch and a brand new segment on the ESO series, Friends in Fashion. We'll be talking to my friends in fashion who talk about their work, their experiences, experiences and just chit-chatting about the fashion industry in general. On my first episode, I have Peter Finn, who is a model. I've known Peter for over six years. Since he started modeling, I think from the beginning of your career as a model, and by then I was an intern as well. How has the journey been? It has been amazing. It has been the journey that has defined my career path today. And I'm grateful for every chance and opportunity I've gotten so far. When were you first discovered? Can you tell us about that moment? When I was first discovered during Elite Model Look Search 2012, I was discovered by Beth Models. I actually went there because I wanted to be an intern and in hopes that I was going to become a model, but I decided to try from somewhere because I, was, I wasn't really sure if I could model at the time. Yeah. What was your first job? My first job was Lagos Fashion and Design Week 2012. What was that moment like? That moment was everything. It was... I feel it was the moment that I felt like I was brave because I came out on the runway and I could see like so many people there and it wasn't stuff that I was used to before in my normal, quiet, teenage life. And it was just very uplifting and energetic for me and I loved the experience. What would you say has been like the highlight of your career? I did a campaign for Etro, and that has been the highlight of my career. Yeah, I saw when? the pictures on Instagram, mm -hmm. like, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Peter, I'm still doing it. I know you've worked on SM, SM Men's Fashion Week. Yes, I have. I've I, done South Africa Fashion have, Week. Yes, I have. Mercedes Benz, Mercedes Fashion, Benz Week. Fashion Week. You've done LFDW. Yes, I I've have. I've seen you on LFDW. You've done African um, Fashion Week. African Fashion Week. And uh, any of the Fashion Weeks that are known in Nigeria, mm -hmm. I've done them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've worked for most of them. I've done Milan you've Fashion in Week. you Milan, yeah. I've, I've done New York Fashion Week. Come on, like, yeah, yes, like, so. big, you know, you just said it casually, like, I've done New York Fashion Week, I've done Milan, <laughs> like, come on, like, some of us be like, I've been to New York Fashion Week, I've been to Milan Fashion Week, South Africa Fashion Week, then we now come to the African industry. <laughs> the African Fashion Weeks I mentioned. No, well, I'm from Africa, so I got I know, to represent like, you know, we had my to take people. It, you had to take it easy. I, I had to, you know, start from the roots. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's cool. And what would you say are the challenges you face as a model in Nigeria? I have been to a casting once and I was told you're too beautiful for the job. Say that, say that to the person said it, please. <laughs> oh no, he's too beautiful for this job. <laughs> and I felt really stupid. I can myself. imagine, but like, yeah, what it would be like. I mean, that was exactly what they said they wanted a good looking man for the to come to us and shit. And they're like, Oh uh, no, he's just a bit too much. We feel like our products, people will be scared to buy our products if our products are actually going to make you so beautiful. They will think it's a lie that we're lying about it. And I was just like in need of cash at the time and so broke. You know how you get really, really, really mother, broke yeah. and you just really need the money. And they tell you that, I mean, this was in the big starting stages of my career mm -hmm. but now like I wouldn't bother waste my time for such a casting if I hear about it. Nigeria yeah. no. okay I know like it doesn't, it doesn't like it doesn't pay the bills in Nigeria but our brother does definitely. And with like all through these years did you get like a backup job or all through my survive? years as a model. At a time when I was in Nigeria I used to work for a photographer then and then I got into dabble a little bit here and there into photography but then when I had to travel, it was like a very busy schedule. I had mm. to use up, like, use up all my time traveling, planes, mm. flights from one country to the other. So like, just because I really want to be a dedicated model and get to that stage where I can comfortably call myself a supermodel, I have to chase this dream that I'm chasing. It's like going from one country to the other paying for my flights and hotel bills because at, at the end of the day I know that the money's gonna definitely come back. We're once talking you get to a level. Yeah. We're talking earlier on and you say you've picked up photography too like on yeah, the side. That's actually good. Mm -hmm. You do landscape, yeah. Yeah I do landscape yeah, I and I people like beautiful images, what I see, what I like, what I wanna portray out there to the world. Mm. 
First of all, the way they talk to models in the Nigerian fashion industry is crappy. And I feel like the pay should be increased. Like, <laughs> they pay peanuts to models, and the models who are the ones who sell the clothes and make the clothes look beautiful. And aside that, they don't promote the models as much as they promote, like, let's say, for instance, a singer or an actor. Just because it's the fashion industry, Nigeria still doesn't know that there's a lot of resources to be tapped into the fashion industry, that they can tap into this industry and make it bigger than the movie industry here in Nigeria, bigger than the music industry. It's growing, it's a growing but industry. But it's growing, yeah. yeah, I mean. It's a growing industry. We're not where we were five years ago. Not so, at all. But they have to increase the pay still. So. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with that. <laughs> Nigeria, there are modern. not enough jobs, I would say, because people don't really know the value of having a face to market your brand or putting someone out there that's going to market your brand properly. As a black model working in Milan, hmm. what are the challenges you face? Um, well, you go for some castings and you see everyone with blonde hair, blue <laughs> eyes, you're, and you look you're, at yourself you like, you definitely what am I blending. doing here? <laughs> <laughs> you definitely blend in there, yeah. Because Charlie, it's crazy, like but honestly. But you get to, that's, is, that, is that a good thing? Or? I mean, like, sometimes you have to be sure if you're at the right place, because if a designer wants a black model, there has to be other black models in that casting. So if you're the only Afro hair, you have to ask properly and be like, my hair, does it apply for this casting. If not, you're going to wait on a long line and then when you get to your turn, they'll be like, oh sorry, we don't need you. We didn't... Well, there's this uh, female model I really like, Aduke. She's super talented. Yeah, yeah, I see her good. pictures on Instagram. She's fierce. She has a beautiful walk, a beautiful face and an amazing body. I love her a lot. And then... Um, abroad. Abroad. <laughs> Obviously, I would mention to uh, my fellow Nigerians, Mayo Nicholas, Davidson, um, yeah. Imadi Ogbewi. There are so many I can name, but for legends, icons, it would be Naomi Campbell. Ooh, of course. All like, the all the way. Yeah. She's slain. Exciting photo shoot. I think it was a photo shoot for the Itro lookbook. Why? Because it was just so vibrant, colorful. It was a lot of, the set was beautifully made and we went to different locations that I hadn't really seen before in Milan, like a garden with roses and flowers everywhere. It was, it was amazing, it was so cool. Like I saw big fruits, big giant fruits, like mm. not normal. I saw uh, little squirrels and rabbits in the garden. It was such an amazing show. Yeah. yeah. That sounds really cool. I read a book, I listen to music, and um, I go for a run or a swim. Yeah, I, I love like <laughs> running. Actually, a run, then yeah. a swim. Yeah, sounds cool. What run are you looking forward to working on? I'm looking forward to working on Hermes, Calvin Klein, and um, <laughs> Dolce & Gabbana. Actually, Itro was my stepping stone. It's going to be an, um, another stepping stone because you keep growing. You don't stop growing in this industry. The higher you grow, the bigger you become, the richer you become. Mm -hmm. It's all about consistency, time, and patience. It's not an easy industry that you just want to get into and do it for two years and stop. It's something you want to do and be consistent. Like Naomi Campbell, come on, look at her now. Yeah. Or look at Tyson Beckford or yeah, most of the supermodels. Models. Yeah. If you're not modeling, what would you be doing? If I wasn't modeling, I would probably be cooking, I'll be a chef. Really? Can you cook? Yes. You can cook? Very well. Okay, you cook. <laughs> I can cook Nigerian delicacies. I'm just joking. Like, you know how people will just see people and they look at me like, you can cook? Of I'm sure you can I cook. Of course I can cook. Like, how do you just look at someone and just like, <laughs> like Sharon, you I grew up, I grew up with my grandmother, I cook. so I yeah. cook really nice African food. Yeah, I grew up in Calabar. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I can cook. I've eaten your food before. You're a really yeah. good Yeah. Yay. Thank you so much for coming to chill on my couch. Thank like, you, Sharon. Wait, how do we, what were we shaking? We're going to shake like this. <laughs> no. No? How are we going to shake? Like this? Really? No. Come on, how do we do this? Like this, actually like this. 
Then you do this, then you do that. Yeah. That's well, awesome. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that's it. Look forward to more friends in fashion. And please don't forget to subscribe and like my video. Yes. If you want to see more of this, like this segment, or you want to see more friends in fashion, please like this video and leave your comments and let me know, like, you know, the friends or people in fashion that you think should come on the show. I might, we just might get them. You never can tell. We're doing it all and going for it. <laughs> Till next time, don't forget to rise, pray, grind, and shine.